Halloween is nearly here, and nothing beats a good ghost story, and our planet is chock full of them. There are several spots around the globe with reputations for being truly haunted, and no matter where you're traveling, you're sure to find some sort of haunted site. Some of these places are shrouded in mystery, with legends passed down for centuries, and others are much newer but are steeped in their tragic pasts. Even if you're not a fan of paranormal activities, some of the spookiest locations are still worth your time, whether for their beautiful architecture, jaw-dropping locations, or fascinating histories. Here are the top 10 most haunted places in the world to send a chill up your spine. Coming at number 10, Hoi Basiu Forest. This forest, known as the Bermuda Triangle of Transylvania, is located on the outskirts of Kludge-Napoca on the northern border of Romania. It spans across 250 hectares and is considered the most haunted in the world. The spooky curved trees that populate the forest just add to the eerie atmosphere. Their skeletal figures twisting and spiraling making it seem as though they're contorting themselves to reach out and touch you. An eerie silence fills the air, interrupted only by the footsteps of unseen figures. From the moment a military technician captured a photograph of a UFO hovering over the forest in 1968, Hoyabasiu has gained paranormal notoriety around the world. After this incident, other inexplicable events soon followed, including the disappearance of a shepherd and his 200 sheep which were never found again, and the disappearance of a five-year-old girl who later reappeared five years later wearing the same clothes and without having aged even one day. And the case of a missing woman has reappeared in the forest with a 15th century coin in her pocket. Visitors often report intense feelings of anxiety and the sense of being watched while traveling through the area. Coming at number nine, Fairmont Banff Springs. Ever since it was completed in 1888 to encourage tourism and sell train tickets, this shadow-style hotel has been associated with paranormal activity. The Calgary Herald, a local daily newspaper, has reported several resident ghosts, probably the most famous of all the specters residing in the hotel, and she's even featured on her own stamp and coin. The story of the ghost's bride. A bride fell down the staircase, breaking her neck after panicking when her dress caught fire. Since then, hotel staff and guests alike have reported seeing a veiled figure moving up and down the stairs. She is also often seen in the ballroom dancing, with the flames coming from the back of her dress. Another story, an entire family was murdered in room 873. The door to this room has since been bricked up, but the family can still be seen in the hallway outside the room. But there's also a less tragic spirit too, Sam Macaulay, the bellman, who worked at the hotel until 1975 and claimed he'd come back to haunt the joint. His spirit supposedly pulls shifts dressed in his 60s uniform, helping people with their bags, but if you try to tip him or make conversation, he disappears. Would you dare to stay at this hotel? Coming at number 8, La Recolta Cemetery. Located in the Recolta neighborhood of Buenos Aires, the Cementerio de La Recolta is regarded as one of the most beautiful cemeteries in the world. First built in 1822, it is full of ornately designed tombs featuring thousands of statues, mausoleums, fairy tale grottos, and intricate tombstones, as well as the remains of Argentina's most iconic figure, Eva Perón. The stone walkways and labyrinth of mausoleums are as beautiful as they are eerie, and Recolta has a couple of haunted legends of its own. One of the most famous stories is of Rufina Cambaceres, a wealthy 19-year-old woman the daughter of a beloved Argentine author. Urban legend states that heavy rain postponed her burial. When the groundskeeper returned to the tomb to lay her to rest once the weather cleared, he found Rufina's coffin lid ajar, with scratch marks on the inside. The legend goes that she had been buried alive and woke in her coffin after suffering a case of catalepsy. If you hear a jangling noise in the breeze, they may be the ghostly keys of the most famous stories involves David Alino, a former grave digger and caretaker who worked at the cemetery for 30 years before killing himself. Today, 
people report hearing Alino's keys jangling as his ghost walks the pathways at dawn. Coming at number 7, Shadow de Brisic, dubbed as the Giant of the Loire Valley, is one of the tallest castles in all of France. Boasting seven floors, 204 rooms, numerous portrait galleries, and a private opera house that seats 200 people, it was a fortress built by the Counts of Anjou in the 11th century, and King Louis Roman XIII dropped by in 1620. The Shadow de Brissac is perhaps best known as the home of the Green Lady, Aka the ghost of Charlotte of France. According to the legend, Charlotte, the illegitimate daughter of King Charles Roman VII, was murdered by her husband after he discovered her having an affair. Named for the color of her dress when she was killed, the Green Lady can be found roaming the chapel's tower wearing her green dress. The current residents, the Duke of Brissac and his family, have become accustomed to her roaming the rooms. What's most terrifying? Her face. If she looks at you, you'll see that her face has gaping holes where her eyes and nose should be, resembling a corpse, as well as her sighting. Her moans are also often heard throughout the castle in the early hours. You can still visit the stately castle, and the architecture alone is worth the trip. Guests who are brave enough to stay overnight enjoy rooms lavishly decorated with period furniture. Coming at number 6, Ancient Ram Inn. This 12th century inn is one of the oldest in the Western world. It is believed to have once been a pagan burial ground where children were sacrificed and boasts that it is haunted by more than 20 spirits. It has regular guests lining up to be terrorized by screams and moving furniture. It is widely believed that the redirecting of water on the ancient Ram property caused a portal for dark energy to open up, meaning many ghosts haunt the inn. The witch's room is said to be haunted by a woman burned at the stake in the 1500s as she was accused of being a witch. A high priestess has been spotted sitting on a bed. A centurion on horseback has been seen walking through the walls. The agonizing screams of a girl heard, a monk in the most haunted room and even a succubus is said to slip into the beds of visitors. Caroline Humphreys, who has lived in the house for over 30 years, is used to the side of guests fleeing from visions of a little girl, the cries of children, and the sensations of being pushed down onto the bed by a male demon. Fearless travelers can book a ghost hunt at the inn in hopes of experiencing the spirits themselves. Coming at number 5, Bangar Fort. The ruins of a small fort city built in the 17th century. Bangar Fort, also known as Boot Banglo or the Fort of Ghosts, consists of fort walls, bazaars, haveleys, royal palaces, and numerous temples. Bangar Fort was made up at the foot of a mountain before being abandoned around 1783. But do not be fooled by the beauty of these ruins as they are ranked as the most haunted fort in India. There are two stories that explain the fate of Bangar, a curse from a holy man who forbade the height of the buildings to be taller than his own. When one building cast a shadow over his own house, he is said to have cursed the entire town. And apparently, if anyone attempts to build a roof for the fort, it will collapse. Another story is of a wizard called Singya who was in love with the princess of Bangar, Radnavati. Legend has it that the enchanted oil he hoped would make her love him turned into a boulder when she threw it away. When the princess foiled his spell, the bitter wizard put a curse on the city. Today, locals are convinced that anyone who spends the night amongst the ruins will never be seen again, and paranormal activity is thought to be concentrated around the dancers Haveli and Johari Bazaar. Coming at number 4, Monte Cristo Homestead. A late Victorian mansion with intricate cast iron latticework was built by wealthy landowner Christopher William Crawley in 1876, reputedly Australia's most haunted house. This haunted building has experienced a multitude of scary happenings. Apparition S, strange orbs, poltergeists, and phantom noises are attributed to the tragic history of this isolated house. It might look innocent enough, but once you enter it's a different story. A chain of violent events in the house has triggered other supernatural incidents. A maid once plummeted to her death from the upstairs balcony, and the figure of a woman in period dress has been seen walking along the veranda to the blood-stained steps where she fell. 
A stable boy who burned to death in his bed at the hands of his master is thought to haunt the coach house, while the ghost of a mentally disabled man named Harold wanders the grounds. Kept chained in the caretaker's cottage for 40 years, Harold was found curled up at the feet of his mother's dead body. The sound of clanking chains is said to warn of his approach. It's also believed to be haunted by his former owners. The sensation of ice-cold air falling like snow reportedly indicates the presence of Elizabeth Crawley. The house currently operates as a B&B, &B, offering dinner followed by a ghost tour. Those who dare can spend the night in the haunted homestead. Coming at number 3, Alcatraz. San Francisco is a vibrant city, famous for its colorful Victorian houses, charming cable cars, and the iconic Golden Gate Bridge. But there is also the infamous Alcatraz Island, famed for the notorious criminals who were once imprisoned there, including mobster Al Capone. According to legend, Alcatraz Prison is known to be one of the most haunted spots in the country, if not in the world. Is it really haunted though? For many people that have visited the prison and have experienced supernatural phenomena, it certainly seems to be haunted in a mysterious way. Leon Whitey Thompson, a former inmate who later conducted tours of the prison, was waiting for a tour group in the 1980s when he claimed he saw a large, looming figure at the end of Michigan Avenue and swore it was the ghost of an inmate he had been friendly with called Johnny House. Some visitors have heard crying and screams, and recently the figure of a woman was snapped through a cell window by holiday makers in San Francisco. It is said that the empty cells inside the walls of Alcatraz still home the restless spirits that remain there. Travelers can book a guided tour and learn everything about the prison's infamous past. Is Alcatraz haunted? You'll have to be the judge of that. It's certain that at the very least, this foreboding prison will give you the chills. But if you are brave enough, you can also pay a visit after dark, as night tours are available. And who knows, you may even hear the sounds of Al Capone's banjo echoing through the cells. Coming at number two, the Myrtles Plantation. Situated in the small town of St. Francisville, northwest of New Orleans is the mansion of Myrtles Plantation, boarded by a 125-foot veranda, rumored to be built on the site of an ancient Indian burial ground. The Myrtles Plantation has been dubbed one of America's most haunted homes. With 10 people being murdered in the mansion itself, it's no surprise there have been so many reported ghost sightings, the most famous of which is Chloe, who had her ear cut off by her lover. She wears a green turban, peering intently at visitors while they are in bed, and has even appeared in a photograph. A more recent photo also shows another young girl, known as Ghost Girl, peering through the window of the house. More eerie sightings include a child bouncing on the beds, a soldier, a voodoo priestess, and the ghost of a previous owner, William Winter, who was reportedly shot on the front porch. His ghost, writhing in agony from the gunshot wound, has been sighted crawling up the stairs and disappearing into thin air at the 17th step. Spooky enough, despite being known as the most haunted house in America, the plantation is now a pretty bed and breakfast offering 12 accommodations. Ghost tours are run from the site, and you can choose between daily tours or the spookier and more popular evening tours. Coming at number 1, Pofli Island. In the Venice Lagoon between Venice and Lido, this small island was a place where mainlanders fled to seek refuge from invaders. In the 14th century, Venetians infected by the bubonic plague were sent here to die, and when they died, they were burned on giant pyres. Allegedly, 50% of the soil is human ash due to the number of people who were burned there. The site was also used as an asylum for the mentally ill during the 1800s where patients were experimented on and tortured. Was closed for good when a doctor threw himself off the institution's bell tower. Locals still claim to hear echoing chimes from the island, even though the bell was removed decades ago. Ask a local, and they will tell you the island is full of ghosts and cursed with unhealthy spirits. Voices and screams are often heard, and visitors have reported seeing dark, fleeting shadows. 
Many visitors say they begin to feel an oppressive evil feeling as soon as they step on the island. Despite nearly being auctioned off to an entrepreneur, the island remains totally abandoned and off bounds to most visitors. Ghost hunters claim this spot is a hotbed of paranormal activity. Even if you were allowed to go to the island, you'd be hard to find someone willing to take you as many locals won't step foot on Povlia for fear of being cursed, and fishermen refuse to fish in the area, worried they'll drag up human remains. Want to be the first to know when a new video comes out? Subscribe and turn on the notification bell. Our other cool stuff is showing up on the screen right now. So, stay there and check out. Stay tuned and see you next time.